thank the grace of heaven, the mercies of the, the mercy of the predecessors, uh, trans, um, masters, transmitters, uh, temple masters, uh, and uh, other members to give me this opportunity to talk about this topic. Okay, okay. So this topic is called the um, the ten. It's really the ten um, 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 admonitory sermons or admin. Um, um, Admonitions, <laughs> admonishments, right, of uh, God, Lao Mu, right? We say God, you know, to uh, to to His children, to to us, basically to us, to us, to 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 to, to Well, it's it's well, He's addressing it. God was addressing this to the Tao cultivators, obviously. So this uh, this is a scripture. You you know, there's a book put out. Okay, it has Chinese English. And, yeah, yeah, and Nepali, but the Nepalese is much more uh, abridged, yeah, simplified. But this has more detail, it has both Chinese, it has the uh, actual scripture, and, and then the interpretation of scripture in Chinese, and then the interpretation in English, all right? So it's pretty long. So there are ten, what we call sermons, or ten parts, ten, ten parts, you can say ten parts, okay? Uh, ten sections, parts. Okay, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's done via, you know, people say, well, how, how can God speak to us? Well, it's done through sand writing. Okay, so this was one of the early, no, not early, not the first, but but but, but one of the earlier, uh, uh, you can say, sand writings in which God uh, uh, spoke to us, okay, or, or wrote to us. All right, this happened in August, it, it'll say August eighth or August something in 1941. Okay, so, so that's like 76 years ago, all right? August 1941, all right? So, but, but this is not the first one, okay? And, and then there are other sand writings by God, you know, later on. I mean, you know, throughout, throughout those the 70 years, okay? It, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens usually uh, 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 on, on uh, major events, okay? Major periods, okay? But, but just to let you know, so, so this is the... The scripture that's written down via what we call sand writing, right? Those of you who attended Dharma class will see what sand writing was, right, on the first day. Sand writing by God, all right? Now, um, yeah, a a as with any scripture, in this case, this is God's, uh, uh, you can say, scriptures, right? Um, you know, when, um, when God, August 7, 1941, yeah, when God... Uh, is about to, let's say, you know, give us a sand writing, for example. Uh, and and that's, that's the, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, unique aspect, okay, it, unique part is that all Buddhas and saints accompany God too. And so they also have to come to the temple and uh, introduce themselves, more or less, more or less introduce themselves. So, so in this book, in this book, you know, the... You, there, you, you will read, there are so many, all the Buddhas and saints, basically, came down and, and introduced themselves, okay? And say that, they, because they have to accompany God, because it's God, right? You know, okay, so, so you know, so uh, included, you know, you know, usually, well, not, yeah, the first, the first group, <laughs> they're different groups, they come in groups, okay? <laughs> well, or individuals. Excuse me. So the first group, if you look at page nine on there, but but that's okay. But that, that, that page nine um, in this book, um, it's all the Buddhas and saints. You know, they're, they're all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, saints in the heavens would come down. You know, and, and basically, Zhu uh, Tianshen. That means you know that's the when we cut all. You remember when we cut all? What's the first one is ten, right? It's for God. And what's the second one? Five is for two tens and seven. That means all the Buddha, saints, bodhisattvas, etc., etc. That's that's immortals to whatever. Okay, that's all of them. So that just represents all. Okay. So then and then and then there were others. Then there's the guardians of the law, etc., etc. Okay. Then there is uh, the what, who's that one? Nanji, Nanji, So Xing, Nanji, So Xing. Ah, no, So Xing. Yeah, it's a saint. It's it, a literal translation. is the South Pole Star of Longevity. That that's that. That's how we get that translation. South Pole Star, right? Southern Pole Star. You know, the Southern. I don't know. There's a Southern Dipper. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, Southern Pole Star 
uh, of longevity. Okay, that's Nanji Xianong. That's a, uh, you know, he's the very old person. <laughs> you know, he's he's supposed to be the oldest of the Bodhisattva of the Buddhas, right? Or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, doesn't matter. And then and then whole bunch a uh, bunch of uh, uh, Buddhas. Uh, 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 there is a uh, uh, Bodhisattva of cultis cultivation, Jiao Fa uh, There's then there's holy teacher. Then then there is. Okay, the holy teacher, then um, then there is um, uh, the Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad came down, Jesus came down, uh, Buddha, Siddhartha, Siddhartha Sakyamuni came down, uh, introduced him, uh, 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 Lao Tzu and Confucius. So they represent the, you can say, the five major religions of the red period, of the red period, okay, red period, not talking about green period, red period. Okay, the five major, I mean, we say major, I mean, major religions, because they were the founders, okay, right? And then, and then after that, there came, oh, ho, ho, there are a whole bunch, uh, um, okay, Confucius, let's see, who else? Uh, I'm, I'm just summarizing here, okay. And then, and then last, well, second to the last person to, to, to introduce themselves was uh, our 17th patriarch, uh, which is... Um, uh, 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 happy Buddha, happy, you can say Maitreya, Maitreya, because he represents the white period, the white, the, the yeah, he represents, yeah, he, well, he's in charge, you can say he's in charge, he's what we call, if, if you, if, if, you know, if you remember last year, I think earlier last year, I talked about the, uh, the lineage of Tao, right, remember the lineage of Tao, that was the, uh, the, uh, the, of the ten Buddhas, which we will later talk about the life cycle chart. We will take a, we'll talk a, uh, he, he, uh, Maitreya is the tenth Buddha in charge of the San Tian, the three realms, you can call it, the three worlds, three realms, mm-hmm. right? The Qi, right? The, the celestial, yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 I don't think so. I don't think it's the Qi Tian, uh, qi, uh, it's about the, uh, the temporal heaven, the earthly realm, and the underworld realm. Okay, the three realms. Realms we call realms. That's what you know. The Maitreya is is in charge of. Okay, and, and that's called the heavenly pulse. Ten ten pan, right? Okay, and, and obviously holy teacher is in charge of the Tao pan. That means anything to do with uh, the transmission or the uh, spreading of the Tao of the Dharma teach oh, of the Tao of the Tao. Yeah, Tao yeah, Tao affairs. Yeah, a- anything related. So that's holy teacher. All right. Okay. And then, and then, and then, uh, and then, and then, right. And then the last group is the two what we call shentong. <laughs> uh, they are like the uh, we can say angels that accompany God. Okay, they accompany God. All right. Okay. So that's the last group. Okay. And and Maitreya is the second to the last. Okay. Pentultimate. Okay. Person because he he represents the uh, the white era. That's why he's second to the last. He always comes. You know, the last. Okay. And then holy teacher. Ah, uh, that, that, then then uh, boot, uh, then God comes down. Okay, so that's that's the the sequence normally. Okay, so and it's long. If you if you want to read it, it's like twenty plus pages. Okay, then obviously uh, God would uh, have a little um, what we call preface. Zi xu, right? Zi xu, right? It's a preface. You can say it's like a yeah, like a intro. Intro. You can say intro, <laughs> like an intro. Okay, and basically what God said that you know he is. Um, you know, coming to, to the sand writing to tell, to give uh, basically instructions or to remind us, to, to awaken us uh, uh, to, to what the Tao is, okay? To why Tao is, is, is precious, why it's important, why we should cultivate this Tao, okay? And because, because, because God will, 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 will say that in the first uh, sermon, he'll, he'll say that basically um, this Tao it's God's way. You can say God's gift to us, to his children, to all of us, for us to return back to where we originally came from. Okay? So basically, that's, that's what the preface said. You know, he talked about that, you know, because now we're entering the white era. Remember, this is back in 1941, which is, you can say, uh, it's the start, the start, the end of the red and the beginning of the, of the white. Because in 19, what's that, 30, 30? That's when Holy Teacher... Right and our uh, uh, Yue Hui Pusa, the, the oh, 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 you know matriarch, matriarch, both uh, uh, received the uh, heavenly mandate to spread the Tao. Right, so that's you know that's the statue. I mean that 
you know, if you look at the temple, it's a small temple, right? You can see their pictures and their statues. Okay, anyway, so 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 that's what the uh, God was trying to, uh, you know, in his intro, basically telling us that, uh, you know, we are entering this uh, this uh, white era, white period, right? And that now is the time that you know that white era is the time to to spread the Tao openly, openly. Before it wasn't. Before it wasn't. Remember, during the Red Era, it was from one person to the next, right? One master to another master, but also one master to very few cultivators, right? That the cultivators have to have to um, achieve, have to achieve uh, their own self enlightenment first before the master could give them the three treasures. Okay, so that's the Red Period and the Green Period. Okay, that's the 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 way to. To, to become in line or, or, and to receive the three treasures. Whereas now, during the white era, hey, you don't have to be enlightened. You could be lost. You could be totally confused and still get the three treasures, receive the three treasures. doesn't matter. So, so, so that's the opposite. Okay, so, so it basically means it, it's spread to anybody. Anybody. Anybody who has the affinity and the foundation to be willing to, what? To listen to the Tao and enter the temple. Okay? All right, to listen, and, and no, that's attraction. Who has that attraction? Anybody who has that affinity, that's good enough. You don't have to be enlightened yet. See, that's the, okay? So that's the, the difference between the white, the transmission, or the, the propagation, or the spread of the Tao, to, of the, or, or you can say the three treasures, to, to, uh, to people in the white period versus people in the previous periods. Okay, so that's very important. All right, okay, so now, so that's basically the intro, okay? And then now we're going to, go to the first sermon, or you can say the first section, right? The first part of, of, of God's uh, sermon, okay? Uh, should we read the English? It's too long, right? It's too long. There's so much. There's so much. Okay, okay, let's go section by section then. Um, yeah, there are like uh, 20 pages, almost 20 pages, 17 pages, 17 pages. Basically, I just want to summarize. The first sermon, uh, yeah, the first sermon is talking about... Um, uh, God basically is introducing or, or you know, reminding us, right, that you know there is such thing as what we call the uh, the Tao and the such thing as the three treasures. You know, especially the first treasure, right? Everybody received the Tao here, right? Especially the first no, treasure. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the first treasure, right? That's the that's the we call the heavenly door, right? Portal door, right? And so when we receive the first treasure. Right, uh, that first that, uh, that 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 first that that heavenly door or portal, right, will be unlocked. Okay, will be open. Right, will be open, and that will allow us to our soul, our spirit, to go back to where we originally came from. Okay, so then now in the second section, he's saying uh, that. Um, okay, so then yeah, I guess okay that. Um, the reason why this Tao and the spread of this Tao is present is because going way back to the beginning, before the creation of Earth, <laughs> of Earth, right? Uh, the, so this is like a little creation story here. It's very similar to Genesis in the Bible and other, other uh, religions believe they talk about you know, how God created uh, the heavens and then the earth, right, etc. Okay, so so it's basically just said that, um, you know, if you look at page forty nine, right on top, then, oop, right. If you go, to, yeah, scroll right, move to the right, move to the right. Yeah, a little bit. To, no, wait, to the right. You can't. You can't. Oh, you can't move to the right. Yeah, right there. See, it says during the time before the creation of the heavens, what is called Hun Dun. Mm -hmm. It just means Hun Dun means like there's no distinction between. Uh, light and darkness, form and no form and formless. Everything's mixed. It's like it's like a jumble. Yeah, it's like a jumble. Okay, there's no. Yeah, it's like a jumble. Yeah, so that's what scientists say. You know, like before the Big Bang or whatever. You know, we don't know. It's indescribable. But then, but then God. You know. Uh, okay. Well, well. So, so okay. And then, and then, so there was no. Earth, so there were no humans, right? No human beings, and and God basically saying all of us, all of us, were in heaven. When we say heaven, I mean, 
it's absolute heaven, okay? It's a formless, you know, it's paradise, it's what we call kingdom of God, heaven, okay? Nirpan, you can say nirvana, whatever, okay? Absolute realm, okay? And, and God, we were with God, we were with God, and we were, and, and he basically said, uh, uh, he goes, uh, if you go to page, next page, Ty, it says, uh, there was no, um, uh, there was no opposites, right? Non-dualistic, remember? It's absolute, non-dualistic. No cold, no heat, no yin, no yang. You know, no dualistic, no opposites. No male, female, actually. I mean, well, you, you can take whatever shape and form you want, but there's no permanent or, you know, permanent, you know, distinction, right? Opposites. And, and God was saying that, you know, it's such a paradise. We were, it's really a paradise. It's like, uh, you know, we... We used to ride on green dragons and phoenixes. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the phrase right there. You look at right there, right? What's that? Right? Third line, four line, four line down, right? Fourth line, all right? Fourth row, whatever, okay? So basically, it was like, you can say it's eternal bliss. It's, 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 a, it's a realm of bliss, bliss, right? B-O-I-S-S. You know, joy, happiness, but it's really indescribable because it's formless, right? Okay, but we used to, you know, God would say, you know, we would ride dragons because, because in absolute heaven, we can basically create any form we want, literally. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like, you know, we, you know we're, we're basically like very powerful well, too. I mean, it's yeah. essentially the realm of the mind. So yeah, yeah, the mind yeah, 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 so yeah. Anything you can think of, yeah, think of, okay. So anyway, okay, so, okay, so then, okay, so basically, okay, so let me skip, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, this next paragraph is basically talking about you know how bliss you know what kind of blissful you know we how we we are very carefree. We we drink heavenly fruits and drinks which were never found in any form world and all that stuff. You know, it's a resident. It basically it's very. It's it's. It's indescribable pleasure and whatever, okay? Okay, that, that's, that's what eternal heaven is, okay? People say, oh, well, what's kingdom of God? Okay, that, that's, that's one description, okay? So now basically what, what okay, so, so now, but then here, here's the thing. So now if you go to page 53, basically God was saying that, uh, yeah, this is, this is very, uh, it's, uh, it can get very abstract, but anyway, it's okay. Okay, now we talk about life cycle. But apparently, there is still, he said, you know, because we're in absolute heaven. Yes, that's true. So it's timeless, dimensionless, non-dualistic. But, but there is a still, I don't know how to say, there's a time too. That, like, there's a moment when, basically when he says, right, when it reached a state of ultimate quietness, of ex extreme. It's like when you reach a state of extreme, then... It's gonna change. It's like a cycle. I mean, but but then but then people say, oh, isn't that you know, isn't absolute heaven has no cycle? That that's true. That that's true. But absolute heaven also creates something. See that that that's what that's what this this section means. Okay, it means that you know because absolute heaven is we can say it's formless, it's indescribable. But at the same time, though, it will create things. It will create forms. It, in other words. This universe or this cosmos, as we think of it. So basically, if you look at the time chart, so at some point in time, you know, at some point from our perspective, even though from absolute heaven, you know, it, it, it's not it's not meaningful, <laughs> but but it doesn't mean anything. But from our point, at some point, the cosmos is created, right? Okay, so then that's why if you look at the bottom of the chart, the the, the bottom period, zi, that means it's the you can say the alpha, the beginning. The beginning of of the the cycle, the cycle of creation. You can say of creation, and that's what you know. That first section is that what it says. You read the earth is cre heaven, then earth, then mankind, right? Then humankind, right? That's the third one. That's the like what eight o'clock position, right? Roughly, mm -hmm. roughly eight o'clock position. R roughly, roughly. Okay. So basically, God was saying that, you know, you know, there will come a time when a form has to be created. I mean, you know, you say heaven and earth, or, or physical world ha will be created. And that's what the third, right, eight o'clock, the yellow, the yellow dot, that's where man, when we say created, it means man descended to earth. That means our 
spirit, soul, Buddha nature, true nature, where originally, remember, in absolute heaven, we're enjoying bliss, eternal, but then the time comes, we have to come down. And here's what God said, basically in uh, the next, uh, let's see, two pages, three pages, basically God was saying that because God created this marvelous cosmos, right? Um, and also animals, I think, came down. Animals came down already, okay? Not humans. Animals came down before humans, okay? Before humans. It didn't, this doesn't say that. But, but and, and so here, here's what God says, they say. The reason why humans have to come down to the world. Humans have to come down to the world. Basically, God was saying that is that we need, we need sentient beings. I mean, we need humans. Not animals, okay? Humans to govern, to, you can say, manage the world. So, so this is very similar to the biblical Genesis story, too. You know, how God created Adam. Because God, remember after seven days, right? After seven days, God, you know, said, okay, you know, he was happy, he created. But then, but then there were no humans yet, remember? Right? After seven days, there were no... Six days. No, six days. That's it. Six days. Because, yeah, yeah. Fifth day. Ah, I forgot. Whatever. Then, then, but then God God's, uh, 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 said that, you know, he created humans because he wanted the humans to rule, right? To govern, to manage. You can say manage the world, manage the animals, manage the world. So similarly, God said the same thing, that it's, actually it's also karma too, but, <laughs> but it's also law of causality too. Okay, that humans, not all, not all, you know, all beings in heaven, but a lot of beings are also destined or because of karma to come down to the world to, 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 you can say, to live, to live. Okay, but then originally uh, during that period, the third period, when, when humans first came down, right, humans were very, how can I say, very pure, you can say very innocent, because they just, they're like, you can say, spirits that came from the, uh, the absolute realm to this physical realm. So they have a body, that's true. But when it's time to leave, guess what? There's no underwear. <laughs> not, not, not that there's no underwear. I think underwear exists. But, but, but they didn't have to go to underworld. And they don't reincarnate. They just go straight back. They go straight back. <laughs> See, that, that's how, how, you can say, pure... And, 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 and so, yeah, innocent and, and how um, you can say it's a paradise, a physical paradise now. It's, it's actually like a physical paradise mm -hmm. on, on, in the world, in the physical world, in the, in the sense that humans came into this world, were born, but then when they die, they just can go right back. They can go right back to heaven, okay? They don't have to worry about reincarnation. They don't have to worry about that, okay? So that's, that was like, and so what happened was most I, most well initially, right? You know, during the first early phase of the third period, okay, all humans they don't like to stay there. They don't like to stay. They don't want to stay in this physical world because why? In this physical world, there is what dualism, right? There's duality. There's duality. There's there's what birth and death. There is hot and cold. There is pleasure and pain, right? So so a lot of humans. Well, well, yeah, humans during that period don't want to stay. They rather go back, go back. So every time God sends us down, we'll all come back right away because we don't like to stay down there. So according to this, you know, the sermon, the first sermon, okay, on page fifty-seven, I'm getting towards the, yeah, fifty-seven, fifty, yeah, fifty-seven, fifty-seven. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, it says. He goes, uh, none of us were willing to stay and govern the earth, right? So he, God was forced to, how can I say, to kind of like, I don't know, I guess like say to, to, to cheat us or, or to, but, but to make a special drink, to come up with a special in, in, a drink, okay? It's called the uh, San, uh, San Sanpo, I mean, well, it's a drink. No, no, yes, it's, no, it's a Mi Hun Tang, Mi Hun Tang, it means, Literally, little, it, it's not here, but literally it means just an intoxicating drink. Or, or, or yeah, mi hun. Yeah, mi hun makes, 
intoxic. intoxic. Just no, no, it just it, it, it's confused. Faint. No, faint. I mean, uh, faint. yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, become lost. Yeah, or yeah. Yeah, forgetfulness. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's a good pack. Yeah, it's 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 to lose your memory. It's it's make it force us to lose your past. Yeah, lose your memory. Yeah, you can say lose your forgetfulness. It's the it's called the drink of forgetfulness. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, this is not this is not uh, unique to, to this uh, to this scripture. But do you know that in the ancient Greeks also have a similar story too? You know that they also have a drink. Called the drink of forgetfulness, but but that's okay. That, that, it's very interesting. Okay, but anyway, so so basically, God gathered all you know all His children, or, mo- or most of us who are who are supposed to be down on Earth, uh, at this place called San San Po. San San Po. <laughs> it's the literal translation means the slope of the three mountains, or something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Right? San San Po, the three mountain slope. Okay, whatever, whatever. That, that's what it means. And then he. God will give us, have all of us drink this drink of forgetfulness, okay? Okay, so then we will, we will drink it, and then we will forget, oh, who, where we came from, or who, who okay, or, and then also, he created a big, uh, like a giant swimming pool, <laughs> a, a pool for us to, to, to take a, to, to swim in, okay, to swim in. And then uh, when he, you know, when, when we were swimming in this pool, God took away our abilities to, let's say, to go back to heaven directly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a funny story. Big he says, shoes and cloud, it's called cloud climbing or cloud mounting shoes and heavenly clothes. But, but that, that's, I mean, that's, these are just, you know, metaphor. These are just metaphors because, you know, we, we humans, you know, need, need these Images to, to, for us to, to understand, right? It's like saying, oh, how do you fly? We have an airplane, right? Something like that, okay? Or we have wings, right? That's how we can fly, right? So, so this is, yeah, okay. So then once we drank that, and once we, you know, we came out of the pool, we found out that, oh, <laughs> we can't go back. We can't go back to, uh, to, uh, to absolute heaven, okay? So we're stuck on this world, <laughs> stuck on this. Uh, and so, so when we woke up, we, we, we became very, very, uh, Scared, you can say scared, anxious, very nervous, you know, when we humans. And, and notice when we, woke in the, uh, when, we, when we are born in this world, basically when we're born in this world, we, we forgot where we came from, right? Where we originally came from. And our ability to go back directly to heaven is gone. It, it's, it's sad, but it's gone, <laughs> okay? It's gone, okay? And, 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 you know, God was very sad too. God was very sad. You know, God didn't do this out of spite, but he did it because you, we need humans to, 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 to rule the world. Otherwise, you know, God can just create any world and have, and have you know, trees and, you know, forests and fields and, and, and rivers and oceans and mountains, but there's nobody there. What good is that? <laughs> it's useless. It's useless, right? So, because God... You know, and, 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 and it's tough because some people do ask God, say, well, why do you create humans? <laughs> I mean, why do humans have to come to this world? You know, so you see, so, so actually, you know, and, and so God's, well, you can say one's answer is basically it's that. It's this timing, it's the timing, but actually really the, 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 the notion behind this timing is really is causality. It's because there are still, uh, uh, even though we were back into absolute heaven, but None of, not, not everybody, not all everybody is 100%, uh, we can say, pure or, or have no uh, enlightened, you know, like, like Buddhas. Like, you know, remember the Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi? Okay, Wu Sang Zhen Den Zhen Jue. That's the highest level. See, if we attain that level, then there is no causality. Causality, karma, there's no karma to, for you, to affect you. So, so, even God cannot force you <laughs> to come down because there's no, no, no cause. Unless you, you, know, you make a vow, then, then that's different. Okay, that's different. But there's no, no force. There's no force to force you down. But the problem is, not, even though we're in absolute heaven, right? And, and yes, yes, absolute heaven is absolute. It has no dualism, etc. Th- that's true. No time, that's true. But un- unless... You attain anu unless we attain anuttara samyak sambodhi, then 
we cannot stay up there forever. Understand? So that's why it's very important. That's why, that's why, that's why we have to try to achieve Anuttara, Samyak, Sambodhi. Okay? Anything less than that, anything less than that level, we will have to come down. The question is, when? You get it? The question is when. So in this cycle, I mean, because there, there, there are infinite cycles, but, 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 but in any, any particular cycle, any specific cycle, there are those of us, right, who have not reached Anuttara Samta. And then the time, the time has arrived that we have to come down. Get it? Okay? We have to come down to do what? To govern the world again. To repeat, okay? So, but God, even though, you know, he's sad to say, you know, he, he, God still wants all of, us, all of us to be back in absolute heaven. But because of the timing and the fact that we have not attained Anuttara Sam, that means we have, still have some karma, karma, leftovers, right, remaining karma. We still have to come down. But God did, he, so he felt very sad that, okay, now's the time in this cycle for some of you to come down. You know, some, not, not everybody, some of us, some of us, not everybody, okay, some of us. So, but God did make a promise. So this is very similar to the, to the, to the, to the creation story too, in, you know, because God did promise Adam and Eve that one day in the future, you will also come back, you know, be able to come back. But, and God will, 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 will provide a way, I mean, and that's what we call the Tao. The Tao in, in, in you know, not, not, not the grand Tao, but this Tao, or you can say this path, the Tao, to teach us, okay? All right? To teach us. So, so uh, let's see. Let's go to page, uh, let's see. What are we saying there? Yeah, page 60, Ty. He talks about that. He said, so God really felt very sad. God is very sad. I mean, you feel like, oh, God has no feelings. How can have God have feelings? You know, God is, you know, absolutely. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> he described it that way because only humans can understand, right? So, so anyway, God, you know, was sad to see that, oh, you know, we have to have humans on this world, okay? But he did promise us, and that's what he said in this, uh, he says, all the children, okay, wait, wait, he says, uh, yeah, uh, you know, a after a certain time, after a certain time, right, you will have this opportunity to also come back to return. We have this opportunity, right? So, so, and that's what we call, and that's God's promise. You can say that's God's promise to his children. So, so those of us who remember the three treasures, the third treasures is this, signifies that. Understand? The di san, the di san bao. The third treasure signifies, we say, we call it the holy seal, right? Holy covenant. It's a covenant. That means it's a, it's like a promise, contract from God to us that, oh, when the time comes, when there's that, you know, i.e., the right the white era, the white period comes after 60,000 years or so, 60 plus thousand years, eh, roughly, roughly, right? That God will give us a way to go back to absolute heaven. Understand? Okay, so that's what the third treasure signifies. Okay, third treasure. Get it? Okay, all right. So, so basically, he said, and this is very important, he said, Cha san fu ban wei ho pu du so yuan, right? It's above it, but it's okay. It's, it's the third line, okay? Okay, uh, basically, uh, God said, He made that contract or promise to us, you know, that at this period, 60,000 years, after 60,000 years, so if you want to go, go back to that chart, Ty? Yeah, so, so, so each, each of these uh, points on the circle represent 10,800 years, rough, roughly. So if you count 60,000, that's six, six dots. So from the yellow all the way, if you count six, one, two, three, four, five, six, it will be to that sun, which is the, 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 the yellow, right? So that's 60 plus thousand, roughly 60 plus thousand. But right now, right, that, and so between the two o'clock and the one o'clock position, the one o'clock away and sun, right? That's one and two o'clock, right? One and two o'clock, right? One and two o'clock is, is the period that we are entering right now. And that's called the white period, the white period. Okay, so that then the highlighted between the 12 o'clock and the one o'clock is what we call the, uh, the, the wu, wu and wei. It's the period where we have the human records, 
record record keeping. You can say, you know, human, uh, you know, recorded history, part of the recorded history. You know, where we have, you know, the Neolithic man, uh, the uh, the uh, what got that? The ancient civilizations of ten thousand. You know, rough, roughly ten thousand. The last ten thousand years, roughly. That's what it is. The last ten thousand years. Okay, because that's where we have some of the earliest archaeological records, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, in ancient uh, Mesopotamia, in ancient uh, 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 China even, and the Indus River Valley, they, they, archaeologists found earliest, you know, human settlements, you know, like human, you know, houses, or, or, you know, some basic pottery, you know, or fireplaces, and also seeds of plants, you know, that we were planting, you know, rice, grains, etc. That, that's roughly the last 10,000 years, roughly, okay, roughly. And then within that last 10,000 years, remember we have the two periods called the green and red, so that's contained in there, okay? So that's the, the, the more, like, the, the set the, from the midway point of that purple highlight between, like, 12.30, okay, 12.30, between 12 and 1 o'clock, okay? From that, from that 12.30 to 1 o'clock, that's the green and red period. You get it? Okay, that's where we have actual, you can say, writing. You know, writings occur during that period. You get, you know, we have like, you know, writings, very basic rudimentary forms of writing. That's where we have what we call recorded history. Okay? So that's with the green and red. All right? So that's like 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Roughly, roughly. 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Okay? It's like, yeah. 5,000 plus years, right? Yeah, 4,500, yeah, yeah, roughly. So that's why I say it's about half, about halfway, 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Okay, so now we're at that, at, at the 1 o'clock position. We're at that 1 o'clock position. Oh, you know, 100 years later, you know, that's tiny, you know, 100, one-tenth, okay, whatever, okay? Okay, so now we're entering the white period. Okay, so that's what that chart means. So basically, God was saying that during this white period, between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock, or, or really, the first hundred years or so of this, of this, of that, after that one o'clock position, okay? God said there are three, he assigned three Buddhas, San Fu, Ban. Now, 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 people think of the three Buddhas as the, the green, red, that's wrong. That's because that's not Pu Du. That's not the, 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 the universal salvation. Because the one o'clock to two o'clock is the universal salvation. Well, really the one, one, one o'clock, one, one and one ten. <laughs> one to one ten, okay? Or one o six, whatever. Okay, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. No, one one hundred. Really, ten thousand. Okay. So basically, there are three Buddhas of to conduct the last salvation or universal salvation. So that's what are the three Buddhas? Who are the three Buddhas? Well, we know it's Maitreya. Maitreya is one of them. Then Holy Teacher, and then our Matriarch, Yehui Pusa, our uh, Bodhisattva of uh, of lunar wisdom <laughs> or lunar wisdom. Right? Okay, those are the three Buddhas. Yeah, even though people, you know, thought that, oh, no, no, they, they interpret it as, as the, um, such, uh, as Sakyamuni and Dipankara. Yeah, Dipankara, Landen Gufu, Shijamuni, and, and Nila. That's wrong, because that's for the heavenly post. That's different. That's different. That's different. Get it? Because that's not the salvation of the three. That's just the heavenly post. Get it? Okay, so that's not. All right? So, so basically, that's what, and so basically he said, God is saying that, okay, this is near the end now. Hey, I'm, I'm finished. Okay, pretty much on time. Okay, basically, God was saying that uh, he, he's awakening us. You know, so the first, cha first section is basically just to remind us, okay, you know, where we were originally before, right, before the creation of the, of the heavens and the earth, you know, the, the cosmos, the, the, the stars and the planets, we were with God. We were at one with God, okay? We were in eternal bliss. But because of the time, timing, and because of some of karma, some of us have to calm down to this world after God created, you know, the cycle, okay? Now, this cycle is endless, by the way. The, the chart, if you go to that, that chart, that cycle continues. It's nonstop. You get it? Yeah, people say, oh, there's only one creation. That's false. It's continuous, okay? As long as there is absolute heaven, there is going to be continuous creation, destruction, creation, destruction. You know that? People say, oh, it happened once. That's wrong. That's, that's the wrong mentality. 
That's why there's always, you know, whatever. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. But, but that, that's a separate top discussion. Okay, but for our purposes, this, uh, so, so what basically God was trying to remind us in the first sermon, first section, is that initially we were all in absolute heaven. But because of the timing and karma, you know, during each cycle, some of us have to come down to, to, to govern the, the, the creations, you know, God's creation, you know, okay? But we are not here for eternity either, get it? Because the cycle is only has a certain amount of time. So after 60,000 years or so, whatever, okay, there will come the time when God will show us the way, will give us the, you know, in other words, the three treasures, the, the universal spreading, propagation, okay, of the three treasures, to those of us who have the affinity, who have the foundation, and have the faith, faith right, to listen to the Tao, right, then we can also go back to where we originally came from, you know, 60 plus thousand years ago, or whatever, okay, whatever, okay, it doesn't matter. So that's God's promise. So basically, in the first section of the sermon, God is just trying to lay the background and give us and, and, and remind us, oh, where we originally came from. And that after a certain amount of time, during the, in, in other words, during this white period, it is time for us to go back. So that's why it is so important for us to, to encounter the Tao, to be willing to listen to the Tao, and be willing to receive the Tao, and be willing to cultivate the Tao. Okay? So, so that's basically the first sermon. Okay? So, so, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. But God basically is still very sad, okay? But, but that's God's promise, okay? So, and, and then the second, second uh, section, he'll talk about more detail about uh, the, the, the last period, the white era, you know, the white era, how we were, uh, God um, is telling us why the white era has to come and it's so you can say it's, it's a perfect opportunity for, uh, for those of us to receive the Tao. But if we don't, if we don't uh, receive the Tao and we don't cultivate or practice the Tao, then we will suffer. We, will, you know, we won't be able to go back. Okay? We will have to suffer for another X amount of time before we reincarnate as, if we're lucky, humans or otherwise as animals. Because where do animals come from? A lot of them come from the underworld, <laughs> reincarnated as from the underworld, okay? Definitely not from absolute heaven. When, you're, when we're in absolute heaven, when we come back initially, we reincarnate as humans, not as animals. Very important, very important, okay? So people ask, well, where do animals come from? Because they came from the underworld, okay? All right? Okay, so, all right, that's basically it. Anybody, if you have questions, uh, you know, let me know, questions. So that's the first, yeah. So when we talk about the three realms, the temporal heaven, human world, and also the underworld, there is really no separate space, right? Everything within this uh, Well, it's in a multidimensional space. So yeah, it's, all it's uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, um, yeah. See, 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 the problem is, actually, the, the physical universe always, I mean, there's always some realm that's existing, even though, you know, we're in absolute realm, you know, even though God may, see, see, we used to cycle to show that, oh, there's, there has to be a beginning of the physical universe. That, that is true, beginning in. But the problem is, it's all, it's continuous. It, it, it's, it's not just, yeah, it's, it's always continuous. So there's always another world, you know. Even though we say, oh, the earth is ended, but actually there is another physical universe that will start again. So it's, it's continuous. So that's how people in the celestial realm and the underworld can continuously reincarnate, understand? But, but what God was talking about in the first one, he's also talking about, well, there were humans too that reincarnate. Yes, yeah, celestial realm, people reincarnate as humans and animals who can reincarnate, but not all, right? There were also humans that came from the original you know, uh, the, the absolute heaven, okay? There are also that people that kept to come down. Understand? Okay? So, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> you know, 
after we understand this, we, you know, we, we should realize that we want to, where, basically in the first section of the sermon, the first sermon, okay, God is just trying to remind us that where we originally came from, okay, we came from the absolute heaven. So now God is giving us a way, the style, to go back to where we originally, so that we don't have to come back now again. All right? Okay? Because if we don't do that, if we don't go back to absolute heaven, you could become celestial, yes, yes, if we do good, or worse, you could become an animal, or even go to the underworld. But the problem is, another cycle starts, then you're going to have to come back down. I mean, you're going to have to repeat. Get, get it? So we'll never go back. You'll never go back. That's what's called samsara, right? So that's what Buddha calls samsara. So, you know, people say, oh, I, I don't have to receive the Tao, but I can still go to uh, uh, celestial heaven. Yes, yes, that's true, but you still have to come back down. I mean, it's celestial heaven is not absolute heaven, and, and, right? Yeah. So, so, so you still have to come back down, all right? So, so that's the first sermon, okay? Then there are, you know, ten of them, but, you know, nine more. But it's good, it's worth reading it because, I mean, it's, you know, the translation is not 100% Oh, you know, but 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 that's okay. It gives you a rough idea. It gives you a, a rough idea. You know, the translation is not hundred percent. I mean, it doesn't translate everything accurately, but that's that's okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's better if you can read the Chinese, but um, because it's more it's, it's more it's richer. It's 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 you know it's better as it's more in depth. But um, but that's okay. Okay, so that's the story. All right. <laughs> You look at this picture right now. You look at this table right now. Where are the three rungs? You talk about human, human, mm -hmm. all the animals here, right? Are we here? Humans and animals, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Human and animal here. This is Under underworld, world. right? This is temporary Temple. heaven, yeah. right? All the temporary saints, they are all here. Divas, all the divas. Okay? Where are the Buddhas? Oh, where are the Baoguan? Where? <laughs> Up there. <laughs> yeah. In this heaven, absolute heaven, right? All the power one are there, right? Here. Okay? So those Buddhas, power one, they don't, they are already there, right? But those human beings, animals, all the spirits of the world, all the spirits in the temple of heaven, we all want to go back there, right? So why right now all those three wrong, all the human beings, Spirits try to receive Tao. Okay, so when we receive Tao, we see the blessing. Our ancestors don't have to suffer anymore. Okay, seven generation people above us don't have to suffer us. So the very important for people to receive Tao, receive the blessing. Okay, because eventually we want to go back here. But I think that's what Kai was talking about. Right now, I remember I talked about uh, one class last week. We have one lecture, one temple host. He went back to heaven. Holy teacher took the middle Buddha took him, took him to the heaven. You know what happened? All the Buddha, all of the angels, Buddha came in down. Came in down to give me word now. Try to spread it out. So there are not many all the Buddha all coming down. So every one of us could be Buddha reborn, could be angel reborn. Yeah, we don't know. Second story, okay? Second Try to spread story, it out. Talk about from people to receive. So everybody down. can go back there. So we are here. But they came to receive that go back. And then because of calm. all the parents Maybe under this, under Both world, bounce, we, we can so. uplet, uplet them, give them some merits, uplet, take care of their merit, they can go back through. But temporary heaven, temporary sense, they need to have a lot of people have a merit for them, introduce them so they can go back through. Okay? So we are here, trying to go back here. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right.